So in, this is going back sometimes, so I think in 1992, we were stuck, um, but I knew there was more possibility. There was, there was room for growth. And I wanted to figure out if the stuff that I did in the 80s, when I was a kid, you know, that broke free, would it work with some of my agents? And so we took 75 agents, randomly agents said, hey, do you want to get into a six month program to like retrain your brain, your subconscious brain around your beliefs about what is possible for you to achieve, around your habits of what you have to do in order to achieve that. Um, and we focused on retraining their subconscious mind. And so for six months, they had to go through a process of listening to certain audio tapes Reading, reading certain materials every day and following the process of training their brain, specifically their subconscious brain, which controls 95 to 98% of all of our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors today. And within six months, that group increased sales by $100 million. Jesus. $100 million. And I said, holy shit, right? This is working. Uh, and so we started to teach some of what we teach now in Neurogym. Actually, now we have the technologies, we have the systems that are far better than what we did back in the 90s. And we went from 1.2 billion to 4.5 billion a year. And it wasn't because we taught them any more skills to be real estate agents. We taught them how to change the way they thought about themselves. We taught them how to change their habits. Our agents who made $750,000 or more were in front of a client 75% of the time. And we asked all the agents that weren't in front of more clients, like, why are you doing that? Like, why aren't you in front of people that are going to help you earn more income? Oh, well, we're busy doing this and doing this and doing this. And they had stories and excuses and reasons why. And so part of the work that I love to do now is, is really help people understand what is your story? Like, what's the story you're telling yourself? Because we all have a story. We have a money story, a relationship story, a health story. A, we have a story for everything. And then that story keeps recreating our lives over and over and over again. And we have beliefs that support the story. We have habits that support the story. We have people that support the story. We have systems that support our story. And so my question that I always ask people, who would you be with a different story? Maxwell Maltz wrote a great book many, many years ago in the probably in the 70s. Uh, called Psycho-Cybernetics, right? And Maxwell Maltz was a, a surgeon who performed surgery on people. And what he noticed is even after plastic surgery that he performed on people, some people didn't see any change in their faces. And it was visible to everybody else, but not to them. Because they had a map of what they thought they looked like? Yes. Okay. So we all have a map of reality. We have a map of what we think we look like. Uh, and any deviation on the physical level to that map, to that visual uh, representation we have in our brains that doesn't match the map, your brain deletes or distorts it. So when we were working with real estate or, or when I worked with business owners, in addition to upgrading knowledge and skills, if you think about how, uh, let's say income, we have set points for how much income we earn. So whether it's 10,000 a year or 20 or 50 or 100 or a million, it doesn't matter. We, we get this set point and then we behave the way we need to behave and we feel what we need to feel to earn that income. And over a period of time, it becomes part of the brain's default mode network. So we develop set points for everything. And so if the set points in the brain and there's a psycho-cybernetic mechanism in the brain, a control and response mechanism in the brain, and it's our brain. Why not learn how to reset the set point? And so now we're looking at what technologies are available to help, help reset that. Uh, what uh, evidence-based methods are there to set that or to reset that? And so when we take, let's say, visualization, right? And you start to see yourself, even if the picture is not clear in your mind of achieving the next level of your success, whether it's releasing weight and keeping it off, getting into a relationship that you love and are happy and whether it's to make two or three or five times more money and live a, a certain type of lifestyle that allows you to do the things that freedom uh, with having money allows you to do. If you start in your mind first and you impress that through conscious efforts into the subconscious mind, it then causes thoughts and emotions and behaviors. So I like to work from the outside in and from the inside out. So use both. Mm. I, I want every advantage.